Something enormous from beyond our star system just cut across the solar system, and it's not behaving like anything we've seen before. We gave it a name, Three Atlas, and at first it looked like a comet. Then its speed, its path, and the stuff blowing off it started to look downright impossible. Telescopes around the world scrambled, papers piled up, and rumours filled the gaps where our cameras couldn't look. Today we're going to skip the noise and focus on the hard, strange facts. How it arrived, what it's made of, and why those details could rewrite everything we thought we knew about other star systems. What follows will get weirder before it gets clearer, and the reason this visitor matters is not what you expect. It started as a tiny, forgettable streak. Just another moving dot in a sea of stars, until the numbers didn't add up. On July 1st, the Atlas Network flagged a new object, and the moment astronomers ran the math, alarms went off. This thing was moving far too fast to be a normal member of our solar system. Earth orbits at about 30 kilometers. Mercury needs roughly 48 kilometers to avoid falling into the sun. This visitor was measured at about 58 kilometers while still out near Jupiter. At that speed, it wasn't bound to the sun. Its path was hyperbolic. In plain terms, it came from the void between the stars and was only passing through. That single measurement changed everything. The object earned the name Three Atlas. The third confirmed interstellar interloper after Oumuamua and Borisov, and telescopes worldwide pivoted to follow it. What began as a routine detection turned into a global scramble, because a hyperbolic trajectory doesn't just mean interesting. It means an origin outside our system, a one-time visitor carrying clues from elsewhere. But that speed was only the first twist, and what scientists saw next made them lean in even closer. The path it carved through the sky wasn't a gentle loop, it was a one-shot pass. Instead of circling the sun, Three Atlas was on a hyperbolic track. Go fast enough, and you don't stay. You break free and keep going. At roughly 58 kilometers while still near Jupiter, it had more speed than any object we've tracked in our system. That number doesn't just sound big, it changes the story. A hyperbolic orbit means this rock came from between the stars and is destined to return to them. It isn't a resident. It's a visitor with a single, unrepeatable tour of our neighbourhood. That trajectory also forces a different kind of urgency. Because it's not bound, every close pass, every scrape by a planet, every heating by the sun... There's a one-time experiment we can only watch, not repeat. The angle and velocity tell us how it sliced through the system and where telescopes needed to be to catch its brief show. And while knowing it's unbound answers a lot, it raises a sharper question. If it came from the void, which void? What part of the galaxy launched something this fast and on this precise path? The next piece of the puzzle is where it came from, and the answer is stranger still. Tracing its route backward through space led astronomers to something unexpected. Three Atlas wasn't just drifting in randomly. It came from a very specific direction. Most interstellar objects we've seen, like Oumuamua and Borisov, entered from above the solar system's plane, a head-on approach that fits the way the sun moves through the galaxy. But Atlas? It didn't crash down from above or rise up from below. It slid in sideways, almost perfectly aligned with the thin disk that all our planets orbit in. Out of the countless directions it could have arrived from, it hit that narrow plane with just a three-degree tilt. That's like throwing a dart across light-years of space and landing it flush with a spinning record. When astronomers plotted its entry point, the line led straight toward the dense, ancient heart of the Milky Way, the galactic core. This region is older, busier, and far more chaotic than our quiet corner. Stars there are tightly packed, and collisions, explosions, and cosmic debris fields are constant. Yet when simulations ran its path back millions of years, it didn't seem to come from the bustling thin disk, but from the thick disk, an older, calmer layer above and below the galaxy's main plane. That means Three-Eye Atlas might have been wandering undisturbed for billions of years before fate nudged it toward us. And if that's true, then this isn't just an object from another star system. It could be a fragment from an era twice as old as Earth itself. But its ancient journey isn't the strangest thing about it. The real shock came when scientists began studying what it's actually made of, and that's where Three Atlas started breaking every rule in the Comet Handbook. 
when astronomers finally turned their instruments toward Three-Eye Atlas, the first thing they noticed was how bright it was. Far brighter than anything that far from the sun should be. That meant sunlight was bouncing off more than just rock. It was reacting with gas and dust being blasted into space. In other words, it wasn't an asteroid at all. It was a comet, but one that didn't play by the usual rules. Typical comets are mostly water ice, which stays frozen solid until they're much closer to the sun. But Atlas started venting gas way out beyond Jupiter, in a region so cold that normal comets remain asleep. The explanation? Its surface wasn't dominated by frozen water. It was covered in frozen carbon dioxide, the same stuff as dry ice. CO2 sublimates at much lower temperatures, meaning Atlas could start spewing gas long before a regular comet would even wake up. That made it active far earlier and far farther away than expected. Even stranger was what showed up in its light signature. Most comets reflect sunlight with a positive polarisation pattern, light scattering off dust at right angles. But 3 Atlas did the opposite. Its light had the most extreme negative polarisation ever recorded, meaning it reflected light back toward the sun instead of sideways. That single measurement baffled astronomers because it hinted at a completely different type of dust or surface texture, something we've never seen before. And as the weeks went on, more oddities surfaced. Early readings showed an unusual abundance of nickel gas, but almost no iron, an imbalance that makes no sense since those metals usually form together inside stars. Later, as the comet neared the sun, iron suddenly appeared in large amounts, as if it had been hiding under the surface all along. Whatever three-eye atlas was made of, it was changing before our eyes, a frozen time capsule thawing in ways no one could have predicted. But the most bizarre sight wasn't in its chemistry. It was in its shape. The tail of the comet itself began breaking another rule of space entirely. The first images of its tail stopped scientists cold. Instead of streaming away from the sun, like every other comet we've ever seen, Three Atlas's tail was pointing toward it. For a while, no one could explain it. The solar wind should blow dust and gas in the opposite direction. But here it seemed reversed, as if the sun's energy was pulling the material inward instead of pushing it away. The reason turned out to be tied to its strange composition. Because Atlas started venting gas so far from the sun the solar wind wasn't strong enough yet to sweep the material back. So the earliest plume of gas and dust simply ballooned on the warm sunlit side, forming a short, ghostly sun-facing tail. Only later, as the comet drew closer and solar radiation intensified, did the tail flip into the more familiar direction, a fan of dust streaming outward into space. By the time Atlas crossed the orbit of Mars, its activity surged again. Massive amounts of water vapour began erupting from beneath the surface, far more than astronomers expected for its distance. It was as if the object had layers, each hiding new materials that only revealed themselves under specific heat levels. Nickel and iron began balancing out, the gases thickened, and the once faint tail brightened into a full-blown spectacle. Cameras orbiting Mars even caught a glimpse as it streaked by, a faint white smear captured by the Perseverance rover and the European ExoMars orbiter. For a brief moment, this ancient wanderer shared the same sky as another planet's surface, a silent visitor glimpsed across time and worlds. But even that wasn't the end of its story. The next chapter would unfold as it swung behind the sun, where no telescope could see. And whatever happened there could change what we know about comets forever. Right now, 3 I Atlas is finishing its first and only pass through our solar system. As it emerges from behind the sun, astronomers are preparing to measure how the heat, radiation and solar wind transformed it. Did it fracture? Did it shed part of its core? Or did it somehow survive untouched, ready to drift back into the dark between the stars? Its next close encounter will be with Jupiter in March 2026, before it's slingshotted into deep space likely never to return. And that's what makes it so haunting. Every data point we collect from Atlas is a snapshot of something we'll never see again. It carries materials older than our planet, forged in a region of the galaxy untouched for billions of years. Some of those grains might predate the sun itself. By studying how it behaves, 
the gas it releases, the way its light scatters, the path it takes, we're getting a glimpse into how other solar systems form and what might be hiding out there among the stars. So while Three Eye Atlas speeds away into the dark, it leaves us with more than mystery. It's a reminder that our solar system isn't isolated, that we're part of a much bigger cosmic neighbourhood filled with travellers just like this one. Each of them carries a different story, and some day another might pass close enough for us to catch again. But until then, all we can do is look up, wonder what else is out there, and remember that sometimes the strangest visitors are the ones that teach us the most. In the end, Three Atlas isn't just another comet passing through our skies. It's a message from somewhere far beyond our solar system, carrying the fingerprints of a time and place we'll likely never visit. It moved through our neighbourhood silently, revealing just enough to intrigue us, but not enough to fully explain itself. Its chemistry defied logic, its path defied probability, and its presence reminded scientists how little we truly know about the galaxy around us. As it drifts away toward the outer darkness, what's left behind is a sense of awe and a few uncomfortable questions. How many more of these travellers are out there, slipping past unnoticed? Could one of them carry not just ancient ice and rock, but clues to how life begins, or where it might exist elsewhere? Three-Eye Atlas may vanish from our view forever, but its story is far from over. Every orbit every strange reading, every unanswered mystery will echo in the next discovery. Because if the universe can send us something this bizarre from light years away, you have to wonder, what else is already on its way here? <laughs>